Welcome to The Art of Dress. Today I'm very happy to share with you kind of a summary of hair because what we're going to look at is how does length, how do length, volume and texture combine up or marry up with a part, bang and silhouette of the haircut and that is artistry. So thank you for coming and thank you for subscribing. When you look at a picture like this one, if you've been following along with The Art of Dress, you might say to yourself, well, wait a minute, isn't that a sculptural bang? And yet it's a blunt cut bob, which is architectural. So what's going on here? But if you saw this, what you would really think, or what you could think is that maybe this is composite because composite is where you find this mixing up of elements. Now, let me take you back to the original, one of the original charts for artistry. So here you see the alchemical symbol for the artistries. And it shows you how the three uh, architectural and sculptural and harmonic are on the outside and composite is on the inside. And what this is telling you visually is that composite is basically an amalgamation of qualities from the other three artistries. And in no place is this more evident than in hair. So to remind you about the symbols and how it connects to hair, if you look at the architectural symbol on the top, uh, it shows you that the emphasis is at the bottom, which in hair translates into a, a, a blunt bob, a straight line across. And if you look at sculptural on the bottom left, what you see is that the emphasis is at the top of her head and that you can achieve both, do achieve with a center part, with a full bang, and also with basically the hair kind of trailing away as it goes down her head or someone's head. The third element, or the third kind of artistry, is harmonic. And with harmonic, what you're seeing is side volume. And also you see a, a part that is on the left side of the head, and you also see a side bang. So now, composites use elements from each of the artistries. And it's always one from each artistry. But are they all the same? And the answer is, of course, or maybe not of course, but the answer is no. But the organizing principle for composite hair is actually element of color. So if you are an architectural, for example, you're going, excuse me, if you are composite and you are in earth coloring, you're going to use a different mix of these three elements than if you are in any other quadrant. And that's what I want to show you today is how that works. So once again, the three aspects of hair that we're going to be looking at are the part, the bang, and the silhouette. But we're going to always start with the hair itself. So here, let me give you some examples and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to give you two from each quadrant. So I'm going to show you eight different examples of how the length, volume, texture work together with the other aspects, the part, the bang, and the silhouette. So let's start with earth coloring. And here we have Leah Kabede and she has plum earth coloring. So the first thing that I wanna do in every case is I wanna remind you of the length, the volume and the texture. So Leah's length is medium long, her volume is high and her texture is also medium high. So in terms of her hair itself, she's not really showing um, extra high volume, but it's pretty good. And the length is perfect and the amount of texture is perfect. So now we can look at how does the haircut work into this. So from the haircut standpoint, she is going with a harmonic part. A harmonic part is on the left-hand side of her head. In this case, the part is really indeterminate. So it's not really hurting it, but it's when she normally styles her hair, she all often wears a left-hand side part. So it wouldn't, it certainly would look even maybe a little better, but this still looks pretty good because it's not really strongly anything. 
And secondly, what she has is a sculptural bang. So it's a full bang and you can see that it is really cute on her. Now on the subject of bangs, something that we haven't really talked about much is the length of the bang. You can have medium, you can have long, and you can have short. So how does that happen? Well, if you are sculptural or if you are composite earth and you are in the middle of the colors, so plum is in between grape and burgundy, so that's the middle, so then you wear a middle bang. If she were grape, she would wear the longest bang, and if she were burgundy, she would wear a short bang. And each quadrant has a short, a medium, and a long. But that only applies to sculptural and composite earth. So second, this, so that's the second part. The third aspect for her hair is silhouette. And here you see architectural silhouette, a blunt bob. So harmonic bang, sculpt, excuse me, harmonic part, sculptural bang, and architectural silhouette. So now let's go to Burgundy and Selena Gomez is going to show us Burgundy. So here's Selena and what you can see is from length, volume, and texture, she's really uh, pretty good. So her length is, is medium. She's just underneath medium high, so she's almost exactly medium in terms of length and she should be medium high in terms of volume. She's pretty good and for texture it's um, medium also. So it's it's really good. Um, now in terms of her hair, in terms of the the um, the part, the bang and the length you can or the, the cut, you can see that it is doing pretty much exactly the same thing as Leah Kabedi. So she has a bang that is really, it, it, she has feathering. So um, the bang is in the, really the higher, it's a higher bang. If it weren't for the feathering, it would be middle, but because of the feathering, it moves it up. So she has the bang of the sculptural, just like Leah. And she doesn't really have a part, uh, again, just like Leah, so it's not bad. Uh, it could be even better, but it's, it's not bad. And then in terms of the cut, it's a bob and it's a slightly feathered bob. So it's all together pretty good. Like you can see that hair in front, it's pretty straight. So all the way along, it's, it looks amazing on her. So to recap for earth colorings, the part is harmonic left-hand side of the head. The bang is sculptural middle of the head and the silhouette of the hair is a straight bob like an architectural. So now let's move on and look at water. And water, of course, does a completely different thing. So the first water coloring is Jasmine Tux and she has violet water coloring. And you can see that she wears the length, the volume and texture of the violet water, the length being the longest length and both the, um, the other two qualities, the volume and the texture being medium low. So still low, but not the very lowest. And this is just exactly that. Now, as far as the cut and I guess the styling, so to start with the part is in the center sculptural. So that is what water colorings do, a sculptural part. And the second aspect is the bang and the bang is architectural, which means no bang. And the third thing is the silhouette of the hair and that is harmonic. And so that is side volume. And you can see that even though her hair is spread out, the maximum width of the hair is still halfway down. So that's all just exactly what water colorings do. So dead on. But now let me show you how these same three things work with a very different hair. So we're going to go to aqua. So here we have Yasmin Gori and she is composite aqua water. So the first aspect of the first three things are the length, volume and texture. So she's medium long, she's the highest for volume and the highest for texture. So all three things are pretty much dead on here. And now what about the aspects of the artistry? So the first one is that the, the part, she doesn't actually have a part, but what she's doing is because she has all this volume to work with, the hair is just being given extra emphasis right in the center of her head. So it's basically substituting for a part. 
and the bang, architectural, so no bang at all, as you see. And the uh, cut or the silhouette is harmonic with side volume. So it's really, again, fantastic and so cute on her. And now on to the third one, which is air. So our Beyonce is our first air. Beyonce is ochre air coloring. And she wears, as ochre air, she wears medium long hair. She wears um, medium volume, uh, excuse me, highest volume, okay, and medium low texture. Or, you know, just um, actually lowest of all texture. So, and you can see that here. So those are the three qualities, forgive me. So she wears, in terms of her length, it's medium high. In terms of her volume, it's the highest category. And in terms of the texture, it's the lowest category. So she is the really unusual one. All right, so what's happening with her length is that even though her hair is longer than medium, medium long, the, the highlights are making it seem shorter. The highlights are ending just where a medium long hair would end. So it's so interesting that she's accomplishing medium long hair in this way. And then in terms of volume, she does not have the highest volume, but what she does have is the lowest texture. And you can see that even missing the highest volume, so many other things are good that this still looks just wonderful on her. So the the shine of her hair, when your hair is really low in texture, that's when you get the shine and you can see that it, it's really good. Now, in terms of part, bang and silhouette, the part that you're looking for with air is a right hand part, that's architectural. You're looking for a side bang, that's harmonic and you're looking for a sculptural silhouette to the hair. And in this case, she accomplishes all three things. So what you see is on the right-hand side of her head, so you imagine her head turning around, it looks left to us, but it's the right-hand side of her head, she has an architectural part. She has the side bang of the harmonic, and she has the sculptural feeling or silhouette of um, that you're, which is what air, um, air coloring composites do. But what's so interesting about the way she accomplishes this, yes, she does have some layers worked in, but the silhouette aspect, the sculptural silhouette is amplified by, again, her highlights. So that's so fascinating how she's done that. Such an amazing, and wonderful example of a really unusual approach to accomplishing her hair. It's really good. So I'd like to show you one more air and that is going to be Isabelle Goulart and she is Olive Air. So length, volume, texture for Olive Air. Olive is in the longest, the, the, the highest category for length. And Olive is also in the medium low category for volume, and it's in the medium high category for texture. And so in terms of length, she has the length here. She has, she has a little bit, maybe from the hair itself, she has a little bit extra volume, but I wanna talk about that in a minute because the styling is actually overcoming it. And then the third aspect of having medium high texture, she totally uh, gets that. So how is the styling done in this case is basically 100% styling because she doesn't really have anything worked into this um, through except the layering, which kind of gives it that the sculptural silhouette. So let's start with part though. The part is on the right side of her head, even though it isn't actually a part, it's just swept from that side that, that accomplishes the architectural part. But in doing that, what she also gets is she gets a, um, she, well, the side bang, she gets partly from that because it gives all the hair falling over her face a bit, but also the way it's curled is giving her the aspect of a side bang. And then 
The other thing that's happening is because her hair is swept over her head like that, she's getting extra volume on top. So this is uh, once again amplifying uh, or magnifying the sculptural aspect of her hair. So the way it's styled is minimizing the volume, which is what she wants. It's accomplishing the right hand side part and it's maximizing the sculptural. And you can see how amazingly becoming this is to her. So cute. So now we move on to fire and fire is yet another interesting thing because if you go back to the fire, um, if, you, if you remember fire, I don't know if we ever talked about it actually, but w when the ancients talked about fire, what they said was that all the elements, fire, air, water, earth, were contained within fire. And so fire hair does exactly that. So fire takes one of the aspects of each of the other three elements. So what fire combines is the part of the earth colorings. It combines the bang of the, um, the water colorings, which is architectural, and it combines the silhouette of the air colorings, which is sculptural. So let me show you an example. Our first example is Meryl Streep. Meryl Streep has ruby fire coloring. And of course, she's composite. So what you see in terms of ruby hair, the length is in the lowest category. The volume is also in the lowest category and the texture is just a little bit up from there. So dead on for all three. Now in terms of combining the aspects, the part that she is using is a left hand part. And that is the harmonic part that is used by earth colorings. And the second aspect is the bang, and that's architectural, like the water colorings, and so no bang. And the third aspect comes from the air colorings, and that is the sculptural silhouette. So she has all three in this haircut, and it looks so cute on her. So our second example of fire coloring is Amy Adams, and Amy Adams has yellow fire coloring. So first, let's look at the hair itself, length, volume, texture. So the length, this is an updo, so, but she's still accomplishing it because it's not high on her head. She's got the trailers. So what she's accomplishing is medium low uh, length of hair. And so medium short, you could say. And that's so volume is in the medium high category. So mm, sort of, it's pretty good. And then texture is supposed to be in the very highest. So there's a nod to texture here. She's accomplishing texture everywhere. It's not super defined, but it is there. So not bad. Now in terms of styling, we're getting the same exact thing. So interesting as Meryl Streep. So what you see here is the, the part is the same as the earth colorings, and that is a left-hand side part, harmonic. And the bang is the same as the water colorings, and that is no bang. But, well, it's sort of no bang because she has her hair slanted across her face, but it, at least her hair is not cut into a bang. It's all the same length, so that helps. And the third aspect is the sculptural silhouette and that she knocks it out of the park. She has, not only does she have the trailers to maximize the volume at the top of her head, but she also has sort of a bun up there that gives extra volume. So an extra strong sculptural aspect to her hair. Really, really cute. So here what you see is how the length, volume and texture of the coloring works through the bang the, uh, the part to start with, I guess, and the bang and the silhouette of the haircut. So thank you so much for sharing this with me today. Really interesting for me too. We're going to change up the series next, um, except for the thank you videos, which are still probably going to be a little bit long. I'm going to try some shorter videos. And the first subject matter for that, I think is going to be take a style and show all four artistries within each of the styles. So that'll be next. So thank you very much again for coming today. And thank you for uh, supporting me by subscribing. I look forward to seeing you soon. And in the meantime, I hope you can stay safe. Thanks.